for number six, um, we're going to go ahead and graph negative one-third plus five. We need to start with five on the y-axis. And then from that five, we're going to go down one, right three. You see, we'll be off the graph a little bit. For the second equation, we're going to start at negative two. And we're going to rise to run to the right one. And you can see that we're going to intersect here at 3, 4. Okay. So in number 7, my answer would be negative 2, 3. I would follow the x, y um, ordered pair pattern there. But to graph it, we would say, okay, x at negative 2 would be a straight up and down line, vertical line. And then 3, we go left to right. And you can see that the point there they meet at is negative 2, 3, which is what we already have here. For number 8, we need to um, add like terms. So I'm going to start with my biggest exponent, 6. So 5x to the 6th minus 2x to the 6th. And that would get us to 3x to the 6th. Okay. Then um, our next exponent would be 2. So 8x squared minus 5x squared is 3x squared. And then lastly, we have negative 6 plus 3, and that's negative 3. For number 9, I would go ahead and draw a 2 by 2 square. Remember, you can use FOIL, which is just distributed property, okay, like so. Or you could go ahead and fill in the 2 by 2 over here. Don't forget your negative 3. Your signs are important. So when we multiply 4x and x, we get 4x squared. Then we have 8x. Then negative 3x. And then this becomes negative 6. So 4x squared comes down first. These can combine to make 5x. And then we bring down our minus 6.